Hi guys, I've been asked to record this little video to share with you a week in the life. How do I organize my time? A lot of people tell me that I seem to get a lot done and manage quite a lot of complexity and yet still have time to be there for my kids and have holidays and free time and that kind of stuff. So what I wanna share with you this week is a little video diary of my week, okay? But I'm gonna do it in quite a lot of detail. So I'm gonna give, actually give you a screenshot of my calendar that you'll see time and time again, and you can kind of freeze the video at any point if you want to, to, to look at it in, in detail. All right, but I'll talk, you, I'll talk you through some of the key things that have happened. So on Monday, I was in London. I met an amazingly inspiring guy, a guy called Dilluk, that I've known for, for quite a while. He runs this business, which you can see there. Really, really incredible business. Got amazing um, customers, amazing reach. Phenomenal what they do as an organization. And Dilluk's a really inspiring guy. He works one week a month, typically, in London and then spends three weeks of the month over in Germany where he actually lives with his wife and with his children. Um, and he's very much a lifestyle entrepreneur, you know, built a substantial business, very profitable, good levels of revenue, really respected in terms of what, what it does. My business partner Natasha and I went to meet Dilluk with a view of actually building his personal brand and also to attract new business. And I'm, we're great believers at Bolt Digital, the marketing company that I have with Natasha, that actually having a personal brand and maximize the value of your personal brand is really really important you know it's said these days if you can't be found online people don't trust you so that was a that was a fantastic meeting that we had I then went to see two of my mentoring partners two guys in their mid 30s building a technology based business called Upingo and I've been giving them some strategic guidance and trying to point them in the right direction fantastic really uh, strong entrepreneurs. I wish them the very best of success with what they're doing. I think they're going to go far. So Tuesday I spent also in London, had a early morning meeting with Jeremy Gilly of Peace One Day and the Impact Profile. This is a new technology-based application that is, I believe, going to be world-changing. We believe it's going to, going to be world-changing. It's about measuring people's positive impact how they can do that and benefit employers. It'll benefit people looking for jobs. You know, your CV just talks about, uh, you know, your education, your qualifications, your work history, and maybe there's a, a couple of lines on your hobbies and interests and that kind of stuff, all right? Well, the impact profile fills in that missing piece, which is about what impact are you gonna have on the world? What difference are you making? What you know contribution are you making what are your values what do you stand for that's really what employers want to know also met with rupert hunt as well the founder of spare room a lot of you know my core concept is stand on the shoulders of giants rupert's a giant he's built a tech business from nothing to over four million registered users and rupert was coming as a mentor as a giant to us to give us some strategic thoughts and input and guidance on uh, impact profiling and he used the exact words. I think it's a genius idea. So it's always nice to hear when somebody who's been there and done it, a giant who's built a really successful tech business is telling you you're onto something. It's a genius idea. An amazingly inspirational entrepreneur, a good friend of mine, close associate and colleague through Platinum Property Partners. And uh, it was great to, great to have his support. I then headed over to Battersea Power Station with Natasha. Hi guys, hope you're well. Here we are. I, here I am with Tash. And Hi. Where are we? It's pretty obvious, I think, today. Landmark landmark building. We are at Battersea Power Station. We were meeting a Bolt Digital client who owns two apartments there, and then had a strategy meeting with Natasha after that, and then headed back home, got the train back home, headed back down to Dorset. So on Wednesday, I did three things. In the morning, I had some time that I call buffer time, which is time to just kind of catch up on a few emails, do a bit of thinking. Then the afternoon, I had what I call focus time. And focus time, this was a series of calls, phone calls that were booked and I did those down at the marina. Um, but I did about 15 phone calls back to back. My PA, Stephanie, books them in that way. Um, none of them last more than half an hour. Most are booked for 25 minutes, so it gives me five minutes to transition um, between phone calls. So that was the, um, the afternoon. Love working outside, love working you know, in different environments. Sometimes I just go to a hotel for the day and with a nice view and just sit there with my laptop and my phone and, and use that as my office. So. 
thinking about my lifestyle first and foremost. What environments do I want to be in? Rather than because I got to make phone calls, I've got to be stuck sat at a desk. And then in the evening, I went to see AFC Bournemouth, my team, my hometown, against Manchester United, hoping for the victory. But unfortunately, we lost the game 2-0. And uh, that was the end of Wednesday. So on Thursday, I made a point of making sure the day was fairly clear because one of the things that I always do is I, certainly in from April through to September, is I check the weather. So I made a point of making sure that I had some free time. And in the afternoon and the evening, I took my friends, some friends and family, and we went out on the boat. We went, some um, kids did a bit of swimming. We did some fishing. I had a friend of mine and a, a colleague, a general manager of one of our businesses, um, who's a great fly fisherman to come out and give me some fly fishing lessons. So we went fly fishing for sea bass in the afternoon. And I'm pleased to say, came with, my dad came with me and we caught the first sea bass of the season. Not on a fly, on a spinner, but all nevertheless, it was great fun. So Friday, like most days, I start my day with sort of exercise, thinking time, and went for a run in the morning, took the dogs out, recorded some videos uh, when I was out and about, did a few phone calls, came back, got ready, headed up to Newbury for a meeting to do with the impact profiling system and peace one day met uh, a great guy who's looking to get involved in the organization so it was great to uh, to meet him for the first time and then driver took me over to Heathrow went to a, a, one of the hotels there uh, where I spoke at a PPP discovery day which I tend to do once a month it's really important that when I speak at a PPP discovery day that the potential partners get a sense of me, the founder of the business, the values, the vision, the mission, what, what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to um, do and how we're trying to help people. So that was a PPP discovery day, headed back home, got out on the boat again, fourth time that week. Um, so yeah, really fantastic week. And then a load of family stuff and things like that at the weekend. So I hope that was a useful overview of the week. Please don't think that every week is like that. It's not always that organised. My diary doesn't always look that pretty. You know, if my diary was like that every week, it would drive me mental. I'd go insane. Okay, I need more freedom. I need more flexibility to be able to be more spontaneous. So please don't think that oh, Steve's got it all up together. Everything is you know amazing, and I can never be like that. It's like that's that's not what my life is like all the time all right i have like anybody i have ups and downs i have good days good weeks bad weeks what i hope is you've now had an insight into me as a lifestyle entrepreneur and um, i hope that'll inspire you i hope you get some good ideas from it and uh, i wish you the very best of success with whatever you're trying to achieve in life and um, remember put your lifestyle first try and get the work to come afterwards okay it takes a while to achieve it sometimes but um, set that as a goal set that as an aspiration and I wish you the very best of success. All right, see you later.